it doesn't matter the type of poultry that you keep at your farm. Knowing the minerals that are most important in chickens and how to supplement them to the chickens organically during the times of deficiencies is very helpful and important. And that is what I'm going to do in this video. I am going to give you the five of the most important minerals in chickens, how to know that your chickens are suffering from a certain mineral deficiency, usually due to lack of enough of the mineral in their chicken feed. And also, I am going to tell you the organic supplements to use to help your chickens recover from the deficiencies and which will help also to cover for any lack of enough minerals in the chicken's feed. But before we get into this video, kindly if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and also hit that bell notification so that every time that I post another educative video, YouTube will alert you. Also make sure to hit that like button and also the share button because they help this video to be shown to more farmers so that they can be able to get this important information. You can also tell us where you are watching us from and leave your suggestions question and questions in the comment section below the first mineral that we are going to talk about is calcium calcium plays important roles in the chicken's body it helps in building of strong eggshells it also helps in development of strong bones hatching of strong and healthy chicks if there is enough calcium on the eggshells, the chick that is developing during incubation can be able to absorb the calcium which is on the eggshells, meaning that there is going to be hatching of a healthy and well-developed chick. When it comes to the deficiencies, some of the signs or symptoms that you can look out for to know that your chicken is suffering from calcium deficiency is number one, there is going to be poor bone development, meaning that you are going to observe increased number of fractures and also lameness. There is also going to be decreased egg production and poor egg quality, meaning that you are going to have soft shelled eggs and also poor egg hatchability. When it comes to the organic supplements to use, the first and the best organic source is crushed oyster shells. Crushed oyster shells are by far the best way to supplement your chickens with calcium. The oyster shells are usually served in a different container where the chickens can be able to peck at their free choice. The other organic supplement is eggshells. What you need to note is that eggshells cannot be used as the only source of calcium. Therefore, it must be supplemented in their feed and also the eggshells are to be properly dried and crushed so that they can be utilizable by the chicken. The other supplement is vegetables. The best sources are broccoli and also the kales. Excess calcium, however, causes kidney damage in chicken, especially chickens that are less than 18 weeks. This is the group of chickens that have not started laying. Therefore, if your chickens have not started laying, it is best to stick with the calcium that is in their feed. Do not supplement them because they do not need that much calcium until they start to lay. The second important mineral is potassium. When we talk of potassium, it helps in preventing the negative effects of heat stress. It helps in development of baby chicks. It also helps in laying of high quality eggs and also enhances the eggshell strength. Some of the symptoms to check out for to know that your chickens are suffering from potassium deficiency you are going to see poor egg quality. That is, we are going to observe weak shells, meaning that there is going to be a high number of eggs that are breaking easily. Then there is going to be poor chick de development and also low egg production. When we talk about the organic supplement, to supplement them with potassium, you are going to use, number one, there is the pumpkins. And you can use the pumpkin seeds, pumpkin leaves, and even the pumpkin fruit or the pulp 
itself. You can also supplement your chickens with vegetables, especially the spinach. You can also use bananas and sweet potatoes. The third important mineral is iron. Iron has very important functions in the chicken's body. Number one, it is a very important component of the blood. It is also used in making high quality eggs. It is also needed in chick development. Some of the symptoms that we are going to look out for to know that your chicken is deficient of calcium is that you are going to see pale waters and combs meaning that there is a decrease in blood levels that is what we call anemia then you are going to see poor egg hatchability egg decreased egg production and also loss of weight and lethargy when it comes to the supplements do not use concentrated calcium supplements because excess iron is toxic to the chicken iron supplements are to be used when for example your chickens have undergone an injury and lost a lot of blood some of the best supplements to use is the vegetables for example the lentils the sprouted grains are also a good source of iron and also the eggs the fourth important mineral is phosphorus phosphorus has very important functions in the chicken's body number one it helps in the absorption of vitamins and calcium phosphorus has also functions similar to that of calcium if there's any deficiencies of phosphorus in the chicken you're going to know by observing low quality eggs you're going to see weak bones therefore you're going to see improved number of fractures in your chickens there's going to be decreased egg production also a lack of enough phosphorus causes a weak immunity meaning that your chickens are likely to die of infections the organic supplements to use are lentils or you can use the sardines make sure that you do not exceed 10% of sardines in the chicken feed otherwise it will it will cause tainting of the meat and eggs which means that the smell of the sardines will reflect in the eggs and the meat of the chicken if you exceed 10 percent in the chicken feed 10 percent means that in, in every one kg of feed you should not exceed a hundred grams the fifth important mineral is sodium. Sodium helps in heart muscle function, the function of the neural network, and also in the muscle movement. When it comes to supplementing your chickens with sodium, do not supplement your chickens with table salt. It's usually added in the chicken feed as determined by the feed formulator expert. However, under situations of stress, for example, heat stress or diseases, you can prepare an electrolyte that can help provide sodium and other minerals to your chickens. If you want to know how to prepare this organic mineral electrolyte, you can hit the video that is should pop up on your screen right now there's another video i would also want you to watch this one right here where i discuss the natural treatment to five of the most common diseases in broiler chicken